don't have a good angle here. same thing over and over again. <laughs> Doing, um, Yeah, it's kind of a weird angle here. Um, no, I mean, you know, not, uh, the, the title is self-explanatory, Mike. It's a good thing to do while you're waiting for your laundry. But if you, um, this is somewhere you can just kind of lock yourself in, into, into a position, and it's really pretty easy to play it in the different positions moving around. It's, it's not a... It's not a uncomfortable you know, group of fingerings at all. It's really just that. I'm doing this on like G. Um, it would be like second, third, and then you go up, and then you go second, fourth, and fifth. And at that point, that's the entire pattern. So then you go up, then you do it here, an octave higher. And you do it here, an octave higher. Um, and that's really, that's that's the bulk of it. And you, if you want to just uh, move the notes around and play different patterns out of those notes, then you're free to do that. But just for now, I'm just going to do that. See, same thing, first octave. Same thing, octave higher. Same thing, octave higher. Uh, you can go octave higher, maybe like up here. But you're probably not gonna be able to do that position shift like that very easily. That's okay though, I, wouldn't, I can't do that either. Most people probably can't. See, uh, I was doing this earlier, and I was actually doing a really good job with not doing a different fingering going back down, Stay, uh, doing it exactly downward as you did upward. Which is something that I've been being more mindful of lately, instead of uh, just going all the way up in that in that position that I showed you. But I'm going back down, turning in and start doing something where I start breaking position, doing like, you know, like hit that note with that, that finger there and there, and then slide down, just doing something completely different on the way down. I've been trying to break myself a lot of habit. And uh, 
it's a, it's a habit, you know, it's something I'm gonna keep going back to automatically if I don't watch myself, so I'm gonna try watching myself. Keep wanting to do it there. I mean, there's not really much to it. Um, I was doing this too, which is, it's the same notes, but it's kind of staggering the pattern a little bit, and it's going... And what that is, is just doing this. It's doing like the very first note, second, first, and then second, third, second. Oh, wait, first, second, first, second, third, second, um, third, fourth, third, fourth, fifth, fourth, no, fifth, sixth, fifth. Even though I guess the sixth here is just an octave of that. So. And here I am breaking the position to be able to do... There's this really comfortable pocket in there where you get um, that grouping like that, where you have that finger, you do that finger, that finger, that finger, that finger, when you're changing strings, and it's fun to kind of play around that. You have to hear, uh, it kind of breaks down. Just because of that, uh, the, just the way the guitar is tuned, that difference in intervals. Um, I guess it's it really, you only really get the advantage of kind of hugging that point right there. Unless you're doing it an octave higher up here. Or like that, but. It's just something to keep in mind. And just the scale itself sounds so cool. It's it's part of Lydian. It's not the entire thing. Uh, G Lydian would be just kind of like this. The whole thing would be like three, five, two, four, five. Two, four, five.
So it's just really hitting some of the target notes from that, and it's instead of starting on the very first note, the G, it kind of starts on the on the major seven there. It gives it a very minor sound. It sounds like that's like the, the Batman theme in the first Batman movie. Something like that, I don't know about. That's what it does. Something like that. Um, One last little note on Unity and something else I was doing is just doing a kind of a, a, a string skipping pattern out of it and going like this. I'm still in G. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to go... I'm doing that part of it. So this is the same as the, the pattern that I have just been doing. Just instead of starting on the major 7, I'm not starting on that note. I'm starting on the G. That note's the same. That note's the same. That note's the same. And then from here, you skip up and you hit your your G there. And you, then you, you can play that one in there too. I just uh, I, I just didn't happen to be starting on it. That's a really fun way to do it too. So I was just kind of doing like one more time, just so that was uh, five on the fourth string, and then four on your third string, six on your third string, seven on your third string, and then skip up to three on your first. Got a bit of a stretch in there. And I'm gonna check my laundry.